Well, welcome to Tracking TV. My name's Chris Gosling. It's the 26th of May, Bank Holiday Sunday. Tomorrow is Bank Holiday Monday. How nice for some people. The reason I'm making this little Sunday special video is because yesterday we did a live stream in the morning, as you, as you may know, and that was really good. Lots of people saw it and quite a lot of people responded to it, which is excellent. We covered some interesting ground and got some good feedback. But then, with the help of uh, the mighty Facebook, I managed to lose it. <laughs> I couldn't get the damn video back after it had run for about two hours. So what can you say? I don't know. I wanted to cover a couple of pieces that have come up since um, and a, a piece I covered in the video as well um, because I think you might be interested. One of the things that uh, struck me from yesterday's videos and from today's news on Tracking TV is the amount of interest we get in some of the stories we do. One thing that we want to do a lot more about is unreported news about the haulage industry, people in the tracking industry, and stuff that happens. One of the things that happens too bloody much is crime, theft from trucks. Um, we just had that story the other day where um, a driver woke up on one of the service areas and uh, found a, a shocked and, and scared security guy just been threatened by a knife. What an awful thing to happen. Um, and we want to get more stories like this because these stories don't get published in the local press. They don't get mentioned on regional TV. Um, and in fact, they're kind of ignored. The police attend, do their best, and by and large, they don't get very far with it either because the, the guys are gone by the time they get there. So <clears throat> we'd like to cover more of that. Part of the reason we'd like to cover more of it is because it embarrasses the powers that be, waves a big flag and says, hey, come on, wake up. Uh, and you're the guys who know about it. So bluntly, if you see any crime that's happened that day, theft from vehicles, that kind of thing, curtain slashes, that kind of thing, get in touch with us, please. Um, we're easy to contact, as I think you know, that's uh, Trucking TV on Facebook, Trucking TV on Twitter. We've got the website, truckingtv.co.uk. You can reach me via email, which is production at seriousleisure.co.uk. Um, you can also text us and voice messages on a phone line. I'll have to read that one off. It's 07943 043948. So if you've got anything that's actually happened, is happening now, whatever you like, we'd love to hear from you. If you want to give an eyewitness report, you can actually do it on the text. Sorry, you can do it on the voice message on the phone if you'd like to. We will not publish your name unless you say we can. So there's no question about that. Whatever you tell us is in confidence unless you say it's fine to publish your name. So I'd like to get more news, stuff that's happening on the spot right now kind of thing. I know it's hard to do some things. We can't do things like road traffic reports and stuff because it's, it just requires people to be sitting here all the time. But if you've got some news like about crime, like about stuff that you think is happening that shouldn't be happening and that won't otherwise get publicised, get in touch with us at Tracking TV do our best to actually get out there and wave some flags and make people aware because that, as you know very well, is the big key. If people knew some of the crap that goes on, then they'd maybe start to think about doing something about it and getting people on our side is what we need. Just to give you a couple of little clues as to what happens with the viewing figures from tr Tracking TV, um, in the last seven days on Facebook, we. Our posts on Facebook have reached 30,000 people. That's only about 10% of the truck driving population, but in reality, it covers the whole spectrum. So there's big company managers, small company managers, owner drivers, drivers, all kinds of people out there are interested. There are probably some Eddie, Eddie Stobart spotters who watch us as well. <laughs> um, okay, and in that time, in that last seven days as well, we've had around 20,000 video views. So our videos get seen by a huge lot of people on both Facebook and YouTube, most on Facebook, but there you go. So don't forget that you can share tracking TV, video, TV videos really wherever you like. We don't have a problem with it. Um, the more the merrier. Uh, the more people who see the videos, the more people who are aware of the situations, the problems, the good bits, the bad bits, all that stuff. So, there you go. Um, okay, one other thing that I mentioned in the show, 
on Saturday with something else that we're doing to try and make things better. One of the issues that I have with Tracking TV is that I'm an old geezer, as you realise, bloody hell. And um, I live on a pension and Tracking TV is starting to, because it's becoming so popular, Tracking TV is becoming quite expensive to make. I end up doing stuff that I wouldn't do otherwise. So, for example, a couple of weeks ago, I went to a CV show at Birmingham and, and rather than stay overnight, I drove up and back on the same day. And the petrol was 35 quid, bloody hell. Um, and that comes out of my pension. If I'd stayed in the hotel, that probably would have cost 40 or 50 quid out of the pension. There you go. So uh, I'm starting to do something new, and this is entirely voluntary. There are no charges, there are no regular charges ever going to be imposed on Tracking TV because, for goodness sake, I don't want to do it. But if you like Tracking TV and you want to give us some encouragement, a little bit of help with the bills would be useful. I've joined something called Patreon which enables you, if you so desire, to um, make a donation, a regular donation of around £2 or £2.50 a month. If you think you can afford that, and if you like what Tracking TV does enough to do that, then I can pay the bills without dipping into my pension all the time. If you're interested, there is a website, and there is a, a website page where you can subscribe at, get more details there. Here's the address just there. It's www.patreon.com slash trucking TV. And what do you get for your money? Well, you get a few extra videos, an extra video every week where we can have a chat about things, where you can put in ideas for videos that maybe I haven't thought of, where you can make suggestions and stuff, and we can discuss stuff. Um, that's a regular live video every week for all kinds of people who subscribe via Patreon to Tracking TV. Be nice. See what happens. If you fancy it, give it a go. It is not a long-term commitment. You can say, bugger this, don't want to do it. Can't afford £2.50. <laughs> there you go. So see what you think. Have a look at that page and see what you think. Okay, and that's all, really, that I've got to say today. The big key one, I think, really, from my point of view, is, is more news. If you've got more news, if you, things are happening in your neck of the woods that you think should be shared then for goodness sake, share them to us and we'll share them with the world. No big problem. Okay, I'm Chris. I'll see you soon.